What's going on, whiskey friends? We are back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. This is gonna be five whiskeys to kick off the fall season. Yes, the fall season is finally here. So what does that mean to you and I? For me, at least personally, fall season, you have obviously cooler weather, uh, football has been back now for a couple weeks, cooler weather, football's back. You might be sipping your bourbon inside the house. You might even take your bourbon experience outside the house, you know, sipping it neat, maybe even uh, even pairing it with a nice cigar. So let me give you five fantastic whiskeys to, uh, to sip while you're enjoying this fall season. And of course, I'm the judge, the way I always rock and roll, I'm always going to throw in at the end a an asterisk, cool? All right, <laughs> but I'm gonna give you the uh, whiskeys, I'm gonna give you the price point, the reason why I selected it, um, why I personally prefer it myself, uh, availability, all the kind of high level uh, fun stuff, cool? All right. So let's go ahead and start off. So number one, and these, by the way, I should say, they are not in order. This is just five whiskeys that I really enjoy a lot, and I honestly enjoy them a lot in the fall season as well. All right? All right, so coming in number one, or the first one in the spot, I'm going to give a quick little shout out to, uh, and I love this product, by the way. This is uh, Nulu Double Oak. Now, this one happens to be a Nulu Double Oak age six years, but they're double oak, always cast strength. The bottle I have here, 112.6 proof. Nulu Double Oak, for the most part, it's anywhere from about, let's call it, gosh, it's typically about 80 to $100. Anywhere from like 80 to 100 bucks. But I've seen it mostly around like the $90 range as a whole. I'm telling you, this is one of the better products for, that Nulu makes. I mean, I love, of course, their honey, and they make a lot of other finishes. But for me, and me only, I love the Double Oak. I think tons of just like your caramel, your brown sugar, that whole campfire smokiness kind of um, note to it. It goes fantastic neat. And I actually probably even prefer it with a cigar, even uh, versed in having it neat. It's just a phenomenal product. I love what Nulu's doing. They're taking a really good MGB, MGP whiskey and making it even better. Uh, so number one, I'm coming in with, my, uh, with Nulu, Double Oak. All right. Number two, now at some point, you know, obviously it's cooler out, but you still might want to start off the night with something that's a little bit more light, a little bit more crisp, but you know what? You also even want to throw in a rye into the equation. So for me and me only, I'm also going to include my number two pick as Russell's Reserve Rye. And this is the six year rye coming in, obviously at 90 proof. This, I think, is, I mean, gosh, I think Russell's, I don't know if they even have, honestly, a truly bad product in their lineup. But when you're talking about a rye whiskey, this is one of the best ryes on the market, in my opinion, at this proof point, I should say. Not just overall, but at this proof point. I love Russell's rye. I love Russell's really almost everything. But their rye whiskey, especially this one right here, I think is absolutely fantastic. I typically sip this uh, in the beginning of the night before, right when the sun's kind of going down a little bit. It's still a little bit warm out. It hasn't gotten super cool just yet. This is probably the one that I'm going to kick the night off with because, hey, why not, right? Or why not, I should say. All right. Coming in the number three spot, and I should say also about this one, extremely affordable. I mean, 50, 55-ish dollar bottle, if that. I mean, you really can't get more affordable and very easy to find as well. Extremely easy to find. All right. Coming in the three spot. Oh, man. This is like toward the end of the night. It's starting to get a little cool out. You might need to break out a sweater. But you know what? You may not need that sweater <laughs> after choosing this whiskey. And I say whiskey because it is not a bourbon. But uh, loved by many people in our bourbon world. Oh, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Whiskey. My bottle, 130.7 proof. This whiskey is just so good. At $65, readily available for the most part across the U.S. You can find the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof uh, Whiskey. And it's absolutely just fantastic. Tons of bananas and caramel and brown sugar. It's great neat. It's great even with a little, even if you want to pour it over the over the rocks, you can. Not me personally, but you can. But then also with a cigar, absolutely. It's a fantastic value. I think one of the best values on the market, hands down. All right, I need to go ahead and sip a little something. And by the way, I'm sipping, in case you're wondering, my asterisk. You'll, you'll see what that is at the end. Here we go. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Mm. Whew. That is amazing. All right, coming in the number four spot. 
Once in a while, many of us, we like a finished whiskey. And I know some people can say double oak is finished, but I mean finished like in, in terms of like a wine finish or some other type of a, a secondary barrel. So for me, I think this is a fantastic product. Uh, I love what Greg Metz is doing out there at Old Elk. This is the Old Elk Armiac finish. Cast strength product. I think I got this for like $75, $80. For the most part, you know, you can find an Old Elk product by itself, uh, for the most part, pretty easy. The different finishes, they, they, they are definitely available. You might have to do a little bit of hunting, a little bit of searching, but you can definitely find an Old Elk um, cast finish, either this Armiac, I know they have the Sherry, they have a whole bunch of different finishes out there. Greg Metz, obviously the former master distiller from MGP. He obviously knows what he's doing in terms of making whiskey. So uh, he's still, you know, getting some fantastic bottles or barrels rather from MGP, bringing them to Old Elk, blending them, and then in this case, finishing in an Army Eye cast. That is absolutely amazing pour. Again, neat, but then also with the cigar outside or just, you know, hanging in the outside and just relaxing. Absolutely amazing. All right, before I get to number five, and then also the asterisk, real quick, couple favorites. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are some of your uh, fall favorite whiskeys that you really enjoy as it starts to get a little bit cooler out. And last but not least, come on, hit the subscribe button. Hook me up. Cool? All right. Number five. Now we're going to take it up a little bit in terms of the price point. <laughs> Also, from an availability standpoint, definitely harder to find. I'm calling that out now. But when they, when I say uh, the proof is in the pudding, it might be hard to find. But if you can find their rye, if you can find the bourbon, or what I love the most by this brand is their American whiskey. <laughs> if you can find an old Carter, please make sure you grab it. Sherry and Mark, they are only putting out fantastic quality whiskey day in, day out. This is a uh, small batch, age 13 year American whiskey. This is actually batch five. Oh, this this bottle right here is just near and dear to my heart. It really is. Again, $200, so a little bit on the higher end from a price standpoint, but any old Carter product you find, the rye, the bourbon, and my favorites is honestly their American whiskeys. Make sure you grab it. Treat yourself, my friends, treat yourself. All right, so judge. What is your asterisk and why? Woo! Oh, oh, here we go. My asterisk comes in from a smaller craft distillery, but up and coming, making fantastic whiskey, whiskey and one that is a, is a single barrel and there's still bottles available. Yes, my asterisk is still, and it always will be, not always, but my first barrel pick. So this is the uh, Bourbon Judge, Woodville single barrel barrel pick that some me and my patrons we went in together this one we called it the spicy bees knees it's sweet it has tons of honey tons of spice like the pepper that's in that in there as well it's sweet spicy and it's honestly fantastic i love Woodville barrel proof whiskey as a whole but this one is absolutely amazing so check out the link um actually in this uh this episode here and you can uh, grab a bottle there's still some available over at keg and bottle ships right to you Honestly, me and my patrons, we had this actually last night uh, during our, our happy hour, and everyone floored. It's truly a fantastic pick. One of the best store, uh, single barrels that you'll find on the market from Woodville by itself. All right, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, salute. Take care, everyone. See you.